Oh, beautiful Monday morning. I better check what day it was. So, those of you that have been watching this whole thing with the Firebird, um, this is a case of not being happy with the body line and I can't get the door any higher. So, I had to do that. Uh, it didn't come off easy, I'll say that much. I got a little bit of tweaking to do. I didn't damage it. Just a few where I had to cut the corners off on the welds, but that's minor, minor. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to make sure that that line on the, this line on the bottom is straight. Let's see, I tweak this a bit and let me fix that. Oh, too much. Oh, it's supposed to have a little bit of a divot there. Okay. Um, I'm going to scribe it and I'm going to whack probably an eighth of an inch off the bottom and see if I can get the skin to ride up a little higher. And uh, we'll try again. I've probably got to pull it off, because the door off now, because I can't weld it once it's back on or actually flange the edges again. So. Yeah, that was my mistake. Um, but honestly, how do you check the door alignment when you put the panels in? I guess I could have sat it on the, on the body and tried it. Then I could have maybe, the body line didn't fit well up here anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get into this a little bit and see if I can tune her up some and uh, take it from there, I guess. Uh, I'll bring you back maybe once I start figuring this out some more. Open that edge right there. So that little gain will make this body line right here right. And then that's all she wrote. I can hang the door back on tomorrow. I'm going to test it before I weld. And then if I'm happy with it, I'm going to continue on and give it the spot welds again. And uh, I'll buffer down. And I'll give it some primer in here and I'll seam seal it. And then I'll clean the bottom edges of these doors and have them ready for primer. I think. That's that's the game plan anyway for tomorrow. I discovered a crack here as well. So I'm gonna touch that up. See if I can punch it down a little bit, maybe V it out. This is pretty heavy right here. This is the structure that holds the door up, so we don't want that crack there. Could have been in the manufacturing process too, but I doubt it. Anyway, that's it for Monday. I don't want to weld because then I got to sit here for 30 minutes after and make sure nothing's on fire, like a pile of cardboard or something. I think I'll just stick with what, what this is, uh, my general plan is. That's what it is. Um, yeah, and then I'll get back on this tomorrow. I think I'm going to buff this off too before... Uh, Clean that up. Last time I tried it, the door was on, so I'll do it now or tomorrow and prep that. So keep moving forward. That's all I got to do. Okay, see you tomorrow. Wow, I really been slipping with my updates. So uh, I separated the door skin. I raised it up, quarter to three eighths of an inch, five sixteenths, whatever. Uh, I test fit it. I got my body lines to, to work out now. Uh, I've got one little dent here to deal with. A little bit on that bottom corner. Uh, I had to radius this because it didn't fit here very well. So I got that done and radius. It's not bad. So just cleaning up a little bit. And then uh, I can hang it back on so it's self-storing. There's a seam seal in there. That's ugly. But a little, little work with a bit of a utility knife or something to clean it up. And uh, yeah, so I'd say that door is ready for primer. Now, I'm going to move on to this other side and carry on. But what I'm also doing is taking out the door latch 
and the window track because uh, I don't know if you can be able to see it no uh, it's pretty well there you go it's pretty gross hmm. I didn't finish tack welding on this side and the passenger side did turn out by far better than the driver's side but this uh, this body line here I think what I'm gonna do is just trim this a little bit it looks like it arcs in a little bit it looks like the door goes a little a little to the back and the body and the panel goes a little to the front but from here it looks like a dead straight line I'm gonna see what I can do with it again as other people have commented these GM door gaps weren't that great I do have gap there so maybe I should just leave it alone but it arcs ahead a bit yeah I think I'm just gonna do this little bit right in the bottom here a little slice and dice a bit of welding touch it up with some filler and then that's good so I'll hang that other door and uh, then I think what I might do is prep that one lay pull it off seam seal it my homemade door jack works kind of slick that's uh, an old slide-in camper jack and the framework and uh, yeah it works very well so I'm gonna get this door hung and then I'm gonna move over to the other side and show you what I'm doing over there as I go morning Saturday uh, Batteries on charge. Doors hung back on. I don't recall what I did on the last video. Hey, Saturday afternoon. Uh, I started a video for whatever reason. It stopped. Uh, yeah, so doors hung back on. I pointed out a little ding. Door gaps aren't bad. Uh, this one is good enough. Now I'm going to slide over to this side, I pulled the regulator out, I uh, made a mess, and I got to clean it up some, pulled the regulator out, uh, looks like the front of the door up could go up, front of the door could go up just a touch, but I'm not lined up by any means, it's just hung on there for storage, uh, I did tune up these gaps here a little bit, I just cracked the door, no. When the body panel lines up, that groove is actually pretty good. So I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it in here for the weekend, I think. And I'm just going to raise it up and I'm going to bring my tractor in. So I'll do a little bit of fiddling with it. Uh, it's due for its 50-hour uh, service, so i got to get on with that. And uh, move some things around. Uh, I guess I'm done with this for now. Pretty soon, I'll be able to go work in the Quonset. Uh, I may have made a contact for someone to paint. So they might be willing to take this on pretty much from where I'm left here. Should be awesome, because I'm about had it. Uh, yeah, turning out to be a nice day. Plus 10 Celsius is the forecast. It rained a little bit this morning, so I'm just waiting for it to dry up a little bit. Um, yeah, so until next week, I think that's going to be it. Thank you both for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you again next week. Hopefully the weather will warm up some more yet. Spring is late.